What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how I can create this trippy grid distortion effect. It's actually pretty simple to do and I'm going to show you all the sauce in this video. It's one of my favorite effects. Real quick before we start, my name is Gus and I run the Friendly File Store in which we sell a bunch of editing packs presets to help editors just like you. We just dropped our best pack so far, which is the ultimate brain rot bundle that allows you to get brain rot, those distortion edits all in a matter of seconds. So if you're interested, check the link in the description for more information. Let's get into the video now. So the first effect we're going to apply to get a result, it might seem random, but it's actually going to be a reptile effect because it's going to allow the borders to not uh, have any black since the image is going to move. Let's do that together. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer before. There we go. Now we're going to go to effects and presets and we're going to type CC reptile. We're going to drag it on to our adjustment layer. And then you basically just want to expand those a little bit, not too much. You just drag them on like this and make the tiling unfold. That way, if I can explain it a little better. So if we go in a position and we drag the image down, if we didn't have the adjustment layer, as you can see, it would be like this. But now it kind of like fills up the image. But there's like a weird black line. So we're going to fix that by copying this CC Reptile and pasting it to our footage right over there. There we go. Now let's put it back to how it was before. And now let's do the actual effect. We're going to go to effects and presets and grab the transform effect and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now what we're going to do with that is we're going to animate this image with the position in a choppy style. It's really going to add to our effect and just like the trippy grid effect. So we're going to do alt click on the position right here. Alt click and then we're going to type posterize time a so that's going to make the image choppy and move like every eight frames per second and then semicolon enter and then we're going to do wiggle parenthesis 24 comma and then 30 so 24 is the amount of times it's going to move per second and 30 is the value so it's going to move by 30 pixels every 24 seconds so now as you can see we have this it's not doing much for us right now now it also looks kind of bad because the frame rates are not matching we're moving at eight frames per second and the frame rate is 24 frames per second so so we're going to fix that. We're going to type posterize time right here. We're going to drag it on and we're going to make it eight. That way, everything is going to move in eight frames per second. Now we're going to have that little effect that shakes. Now that we set up our scene, now it is finally time for the fun part, which is the trippy grid effect. Let's get into it. By the way, if you want to skip the process of doing these and just getting those results in seconds, this effect is part of the brain rot effects essentials. There are over 30 presets right here and it's trippy grid right here. So let's say if I turn this off and I just make a new adjustment layer, if I slap Trippy Grid on there. As you can see, there's nothing now. And just like that, you get this crazy effect. Once again, the link is in the description if you want these presets. So now if we want to create it from scratch, we're going to go and type CC Griddler and we're going to drag it on right here. So we're going to make the horizontal scale 120. We're going to make the vertical scale 130 and the Thing that's kind of bugging me is like those spikes there we don't really want that we want it to be like square shaped so we're gonna check off cut tiles so now we have this so far so now as you can see we have this so far now as you can see we have this so far but the grid is static we're gonna animate it we're gonna do that by pressing alt click on tile size right here and we're gonna type once again posterize time eight arrow to the right semicolon enter wiggle parenthesis 24 comma and then we're gonna do 25 and now we're gonna have this it looks super sick super fire so we're gonna do that by going to effects and presets and we're gonna type on sharp mask drag it on there and we're gonna make the radius a bit bigger let's do 50 or 60 we're gonna increase the amount yeah something like that looks nice and we could even add a sharpen effect if you want maybe put it before everything insane what's really nice about creating effects on an adjustment layer is because it means that it's going to affect everything that's under it so let's say for example so i'm just going to give you an example so let's say this is from this is like the bonus out of the ultimate brain rock bundle so we could take like let's say the geek emoji geek mouse rotating tracking box i say so as you can see we instantly get the super cool gifts but if we put it under the adjustment layer, as you can see, everything is affected. So it's super fire. Now let's look at our final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next. Also, if you want to keep learning and taking your edits to the next level, watch this video right there. It'll help you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.